There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right down the line. Yes. <laughs>
All right, jet engines are on. That's definitely <laughs> helping out. Oh my god, that's so cool to watch. Uh, just how the uh, treads always stay on the ground. Jet engine's still on. It's actually mostly using the jet power to get up these things. Having a little bit of a hard time on this hill, but most rock crawlers do. The fact that it's still going, seriously impressive. It's not going to be the fastest, but it's going to be able to get over most of this terrain. Let's go up here and see if it can do this. This would absolutely be crazy. Uh, I'm actually sliding down here. This is not me. Oh, come on. There we go. Turn it, and let's get up. There we go. And look at these back treads. Oh, fuck. I just broke my tread, actually, but we still made it over. Oh, shit. We're going down. No, we're not, actually. I'm amazed this thing's not able to flip, considering how top-heavy it is. Like, that's amazing. I didn't flip there. And this thing's still freaking broken like crazy, but it's still going. It doesn't want to give up. It's got, you know, three engines on it, so I don't really even need the tracks. All right, well, well, I really did want to flip this thing, but it doesn't seem to want to flip. By the way, there's no balloons on this. It's not keeping up. By the balloons, there you go. You can see it can actually flip if you really try. Amazing. Now, I didn't even... I forgot to take off invincibility, so I'm curious to see how it will do with invincibility off. All right, pretty sure this is the biggest mountain in Besiege. Let me actually see back here. It's actually hard to compare these two. This one... I'm gonna say, yeah, probably this one's a little bit larger, so we're gonna see if we can actually make it up this thing. I feel like this is the creation that can do this. Now, this first part's gonna be extremely difficult, because this incline is way steeper than anything else we've climbed before, so I think I'm gonna go try and do it right on this cliff face here. It might be hard to do at the top, actually, so we might be regretting going here, but you know what? We've gone too far. We may as well start right here. Uh, I'm not going to turn on the jet engines just yet. Okay, yeah, I think we need the jet engines on. That's the secret of this build. The jet engines basically make it stick to the ground. So here we go. Jet engines are now on. And we can start climbing this thing. Actually, I don't think it's going to be able to do it. It's just too high of an incline. Even for this thing, with two jet engines in the back, it can't make it up there. So let's turn around here. Whoa, almost flipped that. All right, so we're at Skull Mountain over here. I'm gonna try and go up. I'm thinking this is probably the best spot right over here for me to actually make it up. The inclines over here are just way too steep. I don't even think this could make it up there. But here, I think we definitely have a chance. So let's try it out. Uh, I'm not gonna turn my jet engines on until I need them here, but it's probably gonna be needed, yeah, basically right here. So turning on the jet engines. There we go. That's the extra boost that we needed to make it up. And let's start climbing. Okay, I'm a little bit slidey right now, but those tank treads are really keeping the grip on the ground, which is great. You can see it's having a little bit of a hard time. It's sliding a little bit, but we can actually make it up this mountain. I've never done that with any creation before, and we haven't really been on this side of the mountain too much. So let's go over to the skulls and see if there's anything else here. I think it's just basically skulls in the mountain, though. All right, up we go. You know what? I forgot about the fl flamethrowers. Let's turn on the flamethrowers to give some added boost here. There we go. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this creation. It just looks so badass. And here is the little mountain skulls. Oh, God. Oh, we're going to flip it. We are going to flip it. Uh, let's see if we can get back on our feet maybe, though. Uh, that's not good. It's actually amazing this thing is not breaking. We are not in invincibility right now. You can see things are breaking off, but the thing is still totally fine. All right, so that was the Zero Covenant, a very interesting vehicle, very good at rock climbing. Also, it's got a cannon on it. I didn't really show that, but I think you can see it there. So you can shoot your cannon as well if you want to. Aside from that, really not much else to it. Just a really impressive suspension design. Absolutely love it. All right, next up, we're going to be shooting some military vehicles here. So we got the Darbo 2 main battle tank here, a really impressive tank design. Uh, but also over here, this is just going to be target practice. This thing's called the Prowler. Made by the same creator, I actually took off all the rockets and everything, so it's basically just a moving target for us. So we're not going to look at this one today, maybe later in the future if you guys are intrigued by it. But for right now, we got the big bad tank here that I want to try and shoot this thing with. So I set it up to be automated, so basically we're going to go over here and make sure this thing's turned on. Now that's going to start to move forward just very slowly, and now we can actually play around with the tank here and have some fun. So let's go into the first person and try this thing out. Now we can obviously rotate the turret. It is a tank after all, and it's actually a very fast turret, so this should be fun. Let's actually move a little bit closer here because he's a little far away and try and shoot this guy. So first of all, we got the main cannon here. I'm going to try and shoot this. This should be good. All right, control. There we go. Oh, just missed him. 
All right, that's okay, because we got some more left, but we do need to go a bit closer, because these are the missiles, and the missiles uh, don't go very far, so let's try and get nice and close. There we go, and now it's time to lay down the law. Yes, that's what I wanted. All right, we got lots more here. We can uh, obviously destroy this thing if we want to. Oh my god, I love this. This is the best tank ever. Actually, did you see that bullet bounce there? There was a rocket that actually bounced off the armor there. That was impressive, and it's actually impressive that this thing's still so well intact. Let's go check out the damage here and see how it is. Yeah, the front's not doing too well. All right, here we go again. Time to destroy this thing. I love it. I fucking love shooting things in this game. This would be the best multiplayer game. I really wish they'd listen to everybody saying this needs to be a multiplayer game because it truly does need to be this is so cool we hit it again it's actually not doing as much damage as i expected though just because it has so much freaking armor all right let's try a direct hit with a cannon here maybe this will have enough power to actually destroy it so here we go oh we took off some armor plating still wasn't anywhere near enough though so let's do some rockets here there we go that's what i'm talking about right down the line yes. i fucking love it this is great Besiege just needs to make a new game with military vehicles, because that was truly awesome. I want to go and look at the crash again, and I, it, it's, it's still trying to drive away. There's not much to, to left to it, though. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> yes. Oh, God, I killed myself, too. You know what? It was worth it. That was fucking awesome. Can I please stop spinning, though? Yeah, I'm going to say that castle didn't last very well against a freaking tank, but to be fair, my tank didn't either. <laughs> Alright, so I feel inclined to do this because so many of you asked, so I made the mistake of showing some of my downloaded creations, I think it was last week or the week before, and some of you noticed Robocop's wiener in here, it's a functional replica by the way, in case you were curious. And people demanded that I showcase this creation, so just for you guys, the people who want to see Robocop's wiener, here you go. There, 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 there it is. <laughs> I honestly don't know anything about it. Obviously, you can extend it here with the extenders. It's also got wheels on the bottom, so maybe we can actually control it. Let's find out. There's also a Y at the end, really. Okay, so we can extend it. Uh, or, or, or no, we can't. That's a... That, that, that's an interesting design going on here. Now in the front, if we press Y... Yes, it... it, it, it okay, you, you get it. It's a fucking wiener, guys. Seriously. But we can kind of rotate it back and forth here, and that's kind of fun. Alright, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Seriously, I'm rolling a wiener in a fucking video game right now. Alright, don't, don't, don't break the balls off. They're important. And there goes one of my balls. I figured that would happen, so I guess we're gonna call it the Unicop now, if you know what I'm saying. But yes, aside from that, I don't think it really does anything, guys. It, it has wheels, but it, there's no way to propel it forward. Let me, let me look again. Maybe there's something in here. Oh, I'm right in the wiener right now, guys. This is impressive. Yeah, honestly, all it has is left and right fans, so I, 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 I don't I don't understand it, guys, but I, I appreciate the time that someone took to make Robocop's wiener. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell him a secret, though. Robocop wasn't, like, 100 meters tall, dude. I mean, I understand what you're saying. He's got a big dick. He's Robocop, but seriously, this, this is a little too big, and I broke my ball off again. All right. Well, that's Robocop's wiener, guys. Aren't you glad you saw it now? Here, here Here's a little, a little shot for you in the face. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this fucking video going to? I have no idea. And for all you vanilla fans out there, I did find a pretty interesting plane here. It's not going to win any looking competitions, but this is actually a steam-powered bomber. Now, this thing's got 24 steam cannons on it, and it's totally vanilla, all made in-game. Now, mind you, uh, there's obviously a use of skin packs on here for pretty much everything, but everything is made in-game, not modded at all. So this thing's supposed to be very fast. It's supposed to go up to 2,300 kilometers an hour. So this looks pretty damn fun. You can see the six bombs on the side. Very simple design here. Basically, the top wings give you lift and drag, and the side wings can make you uh, rotate. And that's really all there is. So we're going to turn on one of the engines here. We can, well, I guess it's probably 12 of the engines because there's 24 water cannons on here. But this is enough to take off. We also have another use of engines to go even faster. So first of all, we're going to take off here. And my god, this thing feels amazing way better than any other plane I've used. I can actually control it. I can actually fly. Uh, let's turn on the other engines here and see how fast this thing can go. All right, so this is supposed to be able to reach speeds of 2,300 kilometers an hour. I'm going to say it's probably pretty accurate. We're going pretty damn fast here. Let's see if we can actually bomb something, though. So you can do two bombs at a time, so uh, with a total of obviously three shots. So we're going to go for the middle thing here. Don't think it's going to happen, but oh, we're way off, and I actually didn't even drop the bombs. I thought that was the button. Uh-oh. What? What? What the fuck 
just happened? I, I, I didn't hit the, I thought I hit the wall for a second there, but the wall is definitely not there. That was, uh, that was a little weird one. Holy shit. Oh shit, we dropped the bombs! <laughs> there they go! Totally missed my target, I gotta give it a little bit of a, a head start here. Oh shit, we're gonna hit the wall. There. <laughs> God, this thing's too fast, I, I, I can't even prepare myself. Alright, I'm as slow as the plane can go, and obviously we're still going way too fucking fast. So I'm gonna try and drop some bombs. Eh, right about here, right about here, and right about there. <laughs> Just throwing them everywhere. I don't know how to fucking aim bombers, but that is so cool. This thing is too fast for its own good. And we hit the wall again. I can't even turn. I don't even have time. All right, what if we try and turn off the engines in the air here? That might be my only chance, so we're going to turn them off. And we're just going to glide. There we go. That's what I needed. And we can just simply glide right into the tower here. There <laughs> Still fucking miss it. I'm fucking awful with planes, guys. <laughs> oh well, at least I caught a tree on fire. That's a uh, progress, I guess. It's not. It's not even falling down though. No, it didn't. I didn't even kill the tree. Well, I'm. I'm fucking amazing. Anyways, guys, my shitty flying aside. This was an absolutely awesome creation. Let's see if we can. Uh. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to take off again. There's no fucking way. And, but yeah, that was an awesome little design. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're gonna end this one here. This was, once again, another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. If you guys are enjoying this, please hit that like button so I know how I'm doing. And as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. I'll see you in the next one.